I'm Rico Macavelli, and I just bought some new cars, and it cost me a, and a, ow. Get it? Because it cost me an arm and a leg. Aha, uh ha, -huh, ha, uh -huh. boom, boom, boom. and this is AFX World. Um, yeah, as I said in the intro, I did get some new cars. They did cost me an arm and leg uh, with the exchange rate and everything. These co I could have bought four new cars, not these particular ones in Australia, uh, from somewhere like Frontline Hobbies or off eBay. Uh, but I really wanted these and I justified it because it was my birthday recently. Um, so I was like, yeah, look, I always buy myself a birthday present or a Christmas present. So that was my justification. Um, to buy them because really I don't think I'll spend that much money on two cars again. Uh, I think that's a little bit silly. But um, in saying that, look, if you I know this has come up in my comments. If you're looking for cars, yeah, like go on, go on eBay. If you're in Australia, Frontline Hobbies, they do a bit of stuff there. Uh, if you're in America, I know there's Pro Ticket Toys, Jag Hobbies, Viper Scale Racing and um, AFX. Work. You can actually buy from AFX Racing. Um, it's just hard for if you're in Australia or other countries, depending on the exchange rate it's going to cost because the dollar is pretty high at the moment. Um, but yeah, saying that too, look, I'm not going to do a full uh, review on these. I'm just going to pull them out of the packets, do a little bit of unboxing, tell you my thoughts on them, and then we're going to build Sebring and have a bit of racing because that's what you're here for. Um, I recommend you go check out Slot Valley Racing. He's done a bit of a review on these, which I found his channel recently when I was actually buying these. Um, they came up in my uh, suggested list. Um, and he's done a pretty good review, he's gone into the depth of them, where they've come from and everything like that, so I suggest you check out his channel. And while you're at it, check out Scott's HO, uh, Scott's HO House of, Scott's House of HO. Uh, thanks for the shout out man, really appreciate it, and um, yeah, he's just getting into it, so go check out his channel. Uh, he's doing giveaways and everything, so that's really good, um, always just adding to the hobby. And there's plenty of other people, but look, I'll get into that as we do later videos or at the end, I always do a bit of a shout out to all the ones that I particularly like and just other ones that are out there. So uh, with that said, yeah, look, let's get into it. Oh, actually, wait. Um, I also bought a couple of new short uh, Mega G Plus chassis so then I can adapt them to my old shells without putting too much wear and tear until I get a new tune-up kits, which I have to do for a couple of them. So. Um, We'll just do that and that way, you know, we have a little bit of fun with them, keep them paced with the old and the new. So with that said, let's build, oh, uh, let's review. I mean, let's unbox that. <laughs> when playing with power tools, first get permission and then get supervision from your parents. The power is yours. When operating power tools, make sure you wear eye protection and ear protection. The power is yours. Okay, there you have it. Uh, let's just have a look, a bit of a comparison between these two. So obviously that's my, this is actually the first um, car I actually bought brand new. Uh, a lot of the other cars I inherited with packs or I got some donated to me. Um, but this was the first car I ever bought. I loved it because it is quite quick, even with, um, I think it's the Super G Plus um, on there. Chassis, yeah, Super G Plus, I think, um, even when I had that on there, it was still a very quick car. Um, but yeah, now obviously they've upgraded to the Mega G and I'll probably use those new chassis on this one because I like, I do like this. This red goes faster, you know. But look at that, that is um, quality. Obviously they've got the two different hubs. Um, I like it. The only thing I'll probably say about this one, I think they probably should have made little vents. The like the vents on these ones is similar to uh, the Mark IV um on this one where they you know they go down and you actually see them it gives a bit of depth to the car and it's just that little bit of extra detail um but other than that like 
Yeah, these are my first clear, but they're pretty. They're pretty good. I, I like them. Like it again, it's quite expensive, so for that, it's really hard to justify. Um, but you know what I mean. Like I'm glad I've got these in my collection, and I know this is going to be fast. This one, especially because these are fast. The, this model has always been a fast one. Um, now with the Mega G Plus um, chassis. I think it'll be even quicker, but this one, just how it sits, it'll just sort of hold, it's like the center of gravity is so close to the track, I think it's just going to go around really nicely, so, um, but yeah, look, that's, that's a bit uh, what I think, um, yeah, other than that, they're, they're both really good, yeah, I enjoy, I like them, I do like them, I like all my cars, but you know, the, <laughs> I always like it when you get new ones, but yeah, that looks, um, yeah, just the stance. I don't know if it's really going to be aerodynamics that does it, but just like I said, the low center of gravity to the track. Um, I think this one will do a little bit better on times. And in general, I just think it'll be a really good um, car. So anyway, let's build Sebring and see how they go. Woo! There you have it ladies and gentlemen, uh, Sebring circuit and obviously the new cars going around the track. So um, yeah, look there, it's much of a muchness between these and this. Uh, obviously I, I kept getting different times. It's hard to compare, but really, like they're in when tenths of seconds, like ten, point tenths of a second off each other. So really it's not much of a comparison, but it's more about the car itself and I do like them. Yeah, they're very expensive. Uh, that's the only downfall of these. And I did notice on this, which I didn't notice at first, um, I don't know if you can notice it on the camera, but the 
it's like that part of the wheel arch didn't get painted that much. You can sort of see it, but like really, it's uh, you can't notice it that much. Um, beyond that, they I really like them. I do. Um, I love the detail. I love the clear windows. Um, Mega G Plus handle pretty well on the track. Like in the future, probably I might get better magnets for them, um, depending on what kind of tracks I'm making. Uh, looks, I didn't actually, I'm not too sure if this one will, but I know these will go around the loop. So that's a um, one definitely bonus. I don't know about this one. Just, it looks like it's got the, I don't know, it may or may not. I'll check it out when I do other tracks. Um, but yeah, look on that. The Sebring track, obviously if you notice too, it's not the new Sebring track. This is one for the time era of these, even though I did put the, <laughs> the Audi around. Um, but it's time period because it has changed a few times over the years. Um, but this one was between, uh, can't remember, maybe 54 and 88 or 84. Someone could correct me on that. But yeah, it's around that era. So this was the era that these were racing and these were winning on this circuit. Um, but it's good as circuit. If, you, if you've got a bit of extra track, obviously you need a little bit. But I really like this. It is a quick circuit. Obviously, I'm under five seconds in all Mega G Pluses. Um, but it's fun for the tight curves. I thought it was going to be a little bit more trouble, but it wasn't. It's actually a really good track and quite easy to build. It went together with these corners a lot easier than I thought. Um, but I like it. I really like it. It's got some good straights and everything. So I reckon really, really recommend trying to build this one at home. If you've got the track, if not in time, when you collect the track, uh, build this track, like some of the other world tracks, um, they're really good, but this one, didn't uh, like I was hope I was almost going to put it in the backyard just because um it just doesn't fit quite well on this map but it still came in all right I think um I hope you like it and because I really did um but with that said look um yeah look if this is the first time watching us give us a like subscribe share us tell your mum about us um and yeah stay tuned for more videos I'm Ringo Machiavelli signing out. Whew.